22 News is your local election headquarters. If you're just joining us, 22 News hosted a forum for the Springfield mayoral candidates at 11 this morning, covering each campaign's vision for Springfield if they were to be elected. Joining us now in the studio to help us break it all down is local political consultant Tony Signoli. Thanks so much for joining us, Tony. Absolutely, Duncan, yeah. So you were here listening mm -hmm. to the forum it wrapped up yeah. just about 30 minutes ago. We heard from all of the candidates, Justin Hurst, Orlando Ramos, Jesse Letterman, and David Champy. What were some of your immediate takeaways, impressions? Literally one of the best debates of this format that I have seen in the longest time. The questions were excellent and relevant, and the answers were too. Every No one drew, uh, went way over in answering. Their answers were succinct. Clearly, what I think that the three current uh, elected officials that were on the stage today accomplished was showing why they wanted to be mayor, what the differences were between they and the incumbent, and also amongst themselves. So they talked about their signature issues. If you're supportive of any one of those three, you know, Hearst, Ramos, or Letterman especially, you know where they stand, and it just further solidifies perhaps your support for them. On the flip side, the mayor not being able to be here today, understandable because of the dedication of the uh, Swan School and also a firefighter's dedication right after that, that shows the other aspect of a campaign like this. If you're the incumbent, there's not always a benefit. You've got to go do the job sometime and you can't be at something like this. But immediately, Duncan, this was one of the best debates of this kind I think I've ever seen. This should be a primer for every voter in the city of Springfield to watch. It was that good. It certainly seemed like a strong mm. field of candidates in here. Yeah. We're headed to the preliminary election less than a week before the general election in November. What yeah. are you expecting some key issues to drive voters to the polls will be? I think it'll be almost everything you heard about here today. You know, affordability of homes in the city of Springfield, taxes certainly are always a standby in any campaign, crime, these types of issues certainly, but also what it comes down to is for those who are challenging the mayor, they've got to make the case as to what they can do for the average person out throughout the neighborhoods. For the mayor, the same. What we're seeing right now is a lot of traditional campaigning, television, radio certainly, standouts, lawn signs. But there's more that's shaking at this point, too. What they can do in between now and Tuesday is throw the kitchen sink at this because there probably are still some folks out there that might be undecided for one candidate or another. So that's usually what we would tell a, a client right now. Throw the whole nine yards until 30 minutes after the polls close. Full court press now. Yes. We heard from almost every candidate, yeah. notably Mayor Dominic Sarno, not in attendance today. What do you think are some key issues for him? What's top of mind as we get closer to Election Day for the mayor? Interesting, because I think what we've seen with him in this campaign is this dedication to keep doing the job at the same time you really might want to be campaigning at a political event or something like that. So I think you'll see him continue to roar in that regard. But you make a good, uh, good points were made by some of the candidates today. There are things happening in the next 10, 20, and 30 days in the city of Springfield that as mayor, he's going to have to attend to. This concept of possibly uh, immigrants in New York losing their housing and having to move elsewhere, does that happen here in the city of Springfield? Issues like that. As mayor, you've got to be on top of that and in front of it. And that adds to the burden he has in running for re-election. You've got to deal with that and run at the same time. And for the candidates, certainly, those issues will be hot as they happen. Issues of the moment, so to speak. We touched on it a little bit already, but we're just days away now from the preliminary. What can these candidates do well, in the meantime to finish this campaign off strong? What they've really got to do is solidify their base and make sure that their supporters are doing what they expect them to do, which is just not holding a sign or making a contribution. You got to make sure they get there to vote. So identifying your voters, that's something they should all have been doing for months and months now, but now you really, really ratchet that down. And then you got to be sure that that these folks know they can vote early, they can vote by absentee, they can go to City Hall, but the bottom line, by Tuesday at 8 o'clock next week, they've got to cast the vote for that individual candidate that they're supporting. That's what the biggest part of the job is right now. You don't want to be out there making a lot of noise and forgetting that you need to get your army there to vote in time. Political consultant Tony Signoli, isn't he the best? <laughs> Thank Th you. Thanks fun. so much for joining us. Good show. Thanks, Duncan.